Hello, my name is Staff Sergeant Leibigut. I am the Corps Chief here at the Senior Marine Corps Water Survival Training Center of Excellence here at Camp Johnson, North Carolina. Our schoolhouse has been tasked with the revisions of the current Water Survival Program. The current Water Survival Program consists of the Water Survival Courses and the Swim Quals for the whole Marine Corps. Before we start on the reasoning for changing the current Water Survival Program, you'll need to understand the reasoning and why swim qualifications were even created. Throughout history, the Marine Corps has been known as the Navy's Infantry, or the Amphibious Force in Readiness. The Marine Corps has proven this on several occasions, however, with heavy losses. One of the most famous, famous amphibious landings, beach landings, was the Battle of Tarawa. During that battle, the Marine Corps had lost over one-third of their amphibious forces even before they had hit the beach. It is mainly due to this catastrophic event that the Marine Corps needed to implement some type of water survival training program. The current water survival program consists of the Combat Water Survival Safety Course, CWSS course, the Marine Corps Instructor of Water Survival Course, or also known as McQuist Course, the Marine Corps Instructor Trainer of Water Survival Course, or also known as McQuist IT Course, and the most important part of the water survival program, which is the swim qualifications. Swim qualifications are very important due to the fact that every single Marine and Marine Corps has to conduct a swim qualification, whether being officer or enlisted. The swim qualifications consist of combat water survival 4, 3, 2, and 1. And last but not least, the hardest one, which is water survival qualified, or some people know it as WSQ. These swim qualifications were created many years ago to tailor to the various combat situations environment and gear in the past. Times have changed. Marines are no longer fighting the jungles of Vietnam. Right? Marines are now patrolling the streets of Iraq, next to canals, conflicts that are left and to the right. Another reason for change is that the Marines still are conducting swim qualifications in the same gear we had 40 years ago. New Water Spiral Program is practical and adheres to the present. The new program has incorporated all major aquatic related deaths that have happened over the past several years and set in place numerous, way, numerous ways to overcome them. For example, in the middle of 2006, 10% of Marines' deaths in Iraq were aquatic in nature. Being an infantryman, I know the limitations that a heavy vest would have on one person and how difficult it is to patrol next to a canal at night either on foot or by driving an up-armored vehicle while wearing night vision goggles. Definitely not safe. Our new program teaches Marines on how to safely shed their gear an aquatic emergency and how to escape from a submerged aircraft or vehicle. Marines should not be dying during a water survival instructor's watch. This blame goes to nobody, but it is due to the, these events that the Marine Corps needed to make some major changes. Some of these major changes we have or the creation is the creation of the Emergency Response Plan, or also known as the ERP. The ERP is designed to have a scriptural and rehearsed plan set in place to react to any aquatic emergency if it were to happen. It helps to ensure that, that all key aquatic safety team members know their roles if something were to happen on the pool deck. Other changes that were made were to limit or lower the amount of Marines dropped during a quiz or a quiz course without changing the quality of the swimming instructors. These changes to the current water spotter program will prove to be highly beneficial in saving Marines' lives later on down the road. Thank you.